We're going to cover the first problem on the final exam for dynamic optimization. If you come to apmonitor.com slash do for dynamic optimization and then come down to the final exam on the right hand side, that will lead you to this uh, final exam document and what we're going to do is just cover the first problem. Okay, so let's read through it first. Um, this is or dynamic optimization with orthogonal collocation on finite elements. And our objective in this case is to optimize uh, an objective function subject to a, a single differential equation. And in this case, we're going to use um, orthogonal collocation on finite elements to discretize the differential equation. Okay, so there's our differential equation, and there is our objective uh, function that we're going to try to minimize. Okay, and um, we want to solve this uh, starting at a time of 0 until a time of 1 and solve the system of equations with orthogonal collocation on finite elements with three nodes, and those are three time points as illustrated here, 1, 2, and 3 at time 0, 0 0.5, and 1. So the initial condition for x is 0, and the initial value of the manipulated variable, that's our degree of freedom, is also zero. However, this isn't going to affect the solution. And then uh, the following is available for approximation of the derivative. Okay, so this is our collocation equation where we relate the differential term to the non-differential terms. And uh, that gives us an additional two equations. If you need help on this, there's an extra link here on orthogonal collocation. Okay, and then we want to differentiate uh, the objective function with respect to x1 and x2 and set those expressions equal to zero. Now this is part of the karish kuhn tucker conditions and again some additional tutorials there if you need help with the KKT conditions. So we want to report the solution of u1. Okay, so u1, u2, x1, x2, and then our two derivative terms as well. So six values in total and uh, we want to report those. Um, now you can check your answer. This is the APM model file right here, just a text file. Uh, save this as AP, model.apm. Uh, save this as model.csv. And then you can run it with the MATLAB script. You'll need to grab the APM library. Uh, you can just download that from the MATLAB interface. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and work through this. What we want to do is first of all just go ahead and set up the equations for this and uh, then we'll, we'll plug it in um, and solve it. Okay, so our first two equations, so we're, we know we're going to have uh, six uh, variables in this case and that is those are going to be u1, u2, x1, x2, dx1, dt, and uh, d, uh, x2 dt. Okay, so there are our six variables. Now we also need six equations. Okay, so let's write our KKT conditions. Uh, so the first uh, KKT condition is that uh, these equations right here have to be satisfied. Okay, so those are going to be um, 5 dx1 dt equals negative x1 plus 2u1. Okay, and then we're also going to have it, that same equation also needs to be satisfied at our second node as well. So I'm just going to put subscript 2. So just this node right here and that node right there. Okay, um, now our next equation uh, is going to be this collocation um, equation right here. This is what I think of like for um, you know, solving our, our differential equations, okay, our differential terms. So if I set this up, I'm just going to write this out in non-matrix form. So I'm going to have 0 0.75 times dx1 dt uh, minus 0 0.25 times dx2 dt. Okay, and then that is going to equal x1 minus x0, okay, or x0. And then I'm going to have the same equation here, but just next terms. Now this is going to be 0 times dx2 dt. Okay, so I have my two additional equations just from my collocation. Now the other thing I, I need is also 
um, to differentiate the objective term right there and then set it equal to zero for the two nodes as well. So that one just differentiated is going to be two times x one um, minus three equals zero and two times x two minus three equals zero. Okay, so I have my six variables and my six equations. Now I can just set this up in matrix form. Okay, so I want to put this into matrix form so I can just solve it. These are all linear equations. Um, and so let's do this with, um, you know, I'm going to rearrange it just a little bit here. So my first term is going to be dx1 dt dx2 dt. Okay, and then I'm going to have x1, x2, u1, and u2. And I'm going to have a matrix right here and then set it equal to the right-hand side. Okay, so um, I'm just going to take these six equations and plug them into matrix form. So that's going to be 5, 0, 1, 0, negative 2, and 0. Okay, so that's um, this equation right there. And then I'm going to have my next one, 5, uh, 0, 5, 0, 1, 0, negative 2. That's this equation right here. Okay, and then uh, on the right-hand side, those both equal 0. Okay, my next equation is going to be this first collocation equation. And so that's going to be 0 0.75, uh, negative 0 .0 0 0.25, um, negative 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay, um, and then I have another collocation equation, 1, 0, 0, negative 1, 0, 0. And then my two, when I differentiate my objectives, I'm going to do the, these now, um, right here, and so 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0. Okay, and then uh, my final one, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0. Okay, and on the right-hand side of those, um, I'm going to have this 3 multiplied over to that side, so I'm going to have 6 and 6, and then zeros for those. Okay, so let's put this into MATLAB now and just solve for um, these values right here. Okay, and I'll make this available on the website as well. This is going to be the collocation solution. Just open up this solution with uh, three methods. Okay, and you can see it written out here uh, with my A, B matrix. And then I uh, go ahead and invert it, as you can see here and then I'll just display uh, the solution. Okay, so when I run it, come back over to the MATLAB prompt. Okay, so there it has um, my solution. And so you can see the value of u1, u2, x1, x2, and then dx11, or dx1, dt, and dx2, dt. Okay, and those um, those are shown there. Now, we'd also solve this via the script that I'd given just to confirm the solution that uh, AP Monitor was giving as well. Okay, so that concludes um, this problem. Let me just go ahead and briefly review this again. So we solved with uh, dynamic optimization, uh, dynamic optimization with orthogonal collocation on finite elements, and we optimize this objective function subject to the differential equation.